roaming and peering, exchanging traffic between LoRaWAN networks. So why would you do that? So first, um, it's for coverage. It's better indoor and outdoor coverage. It also provides more resilience against gateway failures. Uh, you know, LoRaWAN is long range, so if your gateway fails, then maybe another gateway picked up the message and sends that to you. A uh, third reason is more uh, network capacity. Um, that means that uh, there are, for example, more gateways available to send downlink messages. And finally, uh, because uh, devices can be closer to gateways, um, the devices can reduce their transmission power and increase their data rates, uh, which is better for battery life. So our solution to this is the packet broker. And that's a global backbone for LoRaWAN traffic. It supports uplink, class A and C downlink, and device activations. It comes with an open source API and it's a host solution, just like the, the Things Network and our cloud hosted offering. Um, but we also uh, make it available on premises. So if you need to run your own instance of Packet Broker, then that is possible. Uh, you can find the uh, API and also uh, the details of how it works on uh, GitHub if you go to this link.